Easy peasy lemon. Uh oh. Okay guys, story time. So I was just chillaxing in my room like a baller, going over Netflix to see what may have survived its animation purge, great move by the way Netflix, and lo and behold, I actually found something. I know, crazy isn't it? But then I thought to myself, wait a darn second, Netflix expects all of its animated movies and TV shows to be garbage now. If it's not Boss Baby good, then it's not Netflix good. Which probably explains why they accepted this piece of shit. Ladies and gentlemen, bitches, bros, and non-binary hoes, may I present to you, Marmaduke. Yeah. This exists. Did, did, did you not, did you not want this? Are you sure you didn't want this? Who the fuck doesn't want a Marmaduke movie? Marmaduke, based off of the comic strip of the same name that ran for 70 years? Guys, we gotta lay off The Simpsons, okay? We know who the real enemy is now. So Marmaduke follows the story of a dog named, well, Marmaduke, who is described as being a messy but lovable Great Dane. And that's about it. That's the comic strip. It's a dog who gets into trouble and that's it. And people think The Prince of Egypt is a great story. Still, you gotta admit, it's apparently doing something right since it's been able to survive for this long. I mean, it even had a movie adaptation back in 2010 starring Owen Wilson. It bombed. I didn't remember that movie, you didn't remember that movie, don't fucking tell me in the comments you remembered, you did not. You liar! You fucking lying piece of shit, I will find you! So, obviously with the demand for Marmaduke being so high, Netflix just had to cash in on this golden goose before it was too late, didn't they? So tell me, all 12 of you Marmaduke fans, is this what you wanted? Did you guys actually want a movie where the animation is so bad that it makes the characters in the Addams Family look like a Pixar film? Did you guys actually want a movie that literally has its main character fart a giant cloud that literally freezes time so that we can see all of the wacky reactions to said fart? How about a movie that actually uses said fart as its emotional center? Yeah! All those poor kids are now being bullied at school because of the fart. Marmaduke now thinks the family hates him and that they'll be better off without him. All because he embarrassed them by farting on everyone! I sure as shit hope that this is the movie all 12 of you wanted because boy, is this the cinematic experience that fucking Marmaduke deserves. I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I uh -oh! Ugh, keep your fetish away from me! Will you at least let it bore you? While Netflix is busy raising its prices, possibly introducing ads in the future, and while they're at it, also canceling a bunch of highly anticipated cartoons, even while I was editing this video, at least they had the common decency to say yes to the fucking Marmaduke movie in 2022. That's right, who needed a bone cartoon anyway when we got the Marmaduke movie that, I shit you not, has fucking Gundam style! I think that's a fair trade. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell from the mic quality of this one, I am losing my goddamn mic! I have never felt so emotional about Marmaduke before in my whole miserable life. Like, seriously, what the fuck? I think I'm more mad about the fact that we got this at the cost of so much potentially good stuff. Now, I know that's not really the movie's fault. In fact, it was supposed to originally come out back in 2019, but it got delayed for two and a half years. And this is how it turned out? Time to bust the moon. not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. Yeah, they clearly needed all that extra time. Why does Marmaduke look like this? Why does he move like this? He looks more rubbery than Spinel. Literally everything about the animation is off. From the movements, to the physics, to the models themselves. I mean, just look at them. You don't need me to tell you any of this shit. Look at the kids. Look at that guy. What is this woman doing? No, seriously, what the fuck is she doing? And why on earth did they give the mom a dump truck for an ass? Oh my god! Extra! 
Sin! <laughs> go go, Talia, I owe you both apologies. You girls are no longer the thickest ladies in animation anymore. You both have my condolences. I mean, goddamn, that thing's gonna have its own orbit! I think that ass might be pregnant. The only thing I think is bigger than her ass has gotta be Zelensky's balls. I know where Liam198 got all that fat from. He borrowed some from her. She literally invented the word THING! This movie is just beyond stupid. I actually have trouble understanding how this world functions. At first it seems like nobody can understand Marmaduke when he talks, which is fine, but then, when he's being trained by Guy, it sounds like people can understand him. And you're no longer Guy. You're Guy, you know? With like a capital G. Wait, wait, he heard that? Clearly he heard that. There's no way he didn't understand that. And that's not even the only moment that threw me for a loop! And this story... Let me tell you guys, it barely constitutes as one. For starters, the pacing is agonizingly slow. Despite feeling like nothing is happening in this movie at all, it really feels like this movie could have been cut down to an hour long. Maybe even shorter! Mom, can I use shimmer shampoo? Don't be silly. Oh, but then we wouldn't get to meet all of our racist stereotypes, now would we? Like this Mexican one who really likes tacos, and this fucking Chinese one who spits shitty proverbs every time he talks, and also has the force, apparently? Ha! I'm a mystic, gonna be ballistic. Be aware my game stays clear and never polished. What the hell is even that? And let's not forget, J.K. Simmons as the antagonist of this film. Yep, J.K. motherfucking Simmons voices the antagonist named Zeus in this film, and honest to God, he's actually doing a pretty good job. I mean, come on guys, it's J.K. Simmons, you can't go wrong with that. This is stupid. Kind of like Tom Kenny and Pinocchio, a true story, J.K. feels like the only person that's actually giving a shit. Now granted, there is no Polly Shore levels of bad voice acting in this movie, but the casting is pretty darn shit. Except for JK, of course. He actually fits his character very well. You got Pete Davidson who voices Marmaduke. Yeah, Pete Davidson. Because when I think of a clumsy dog with a heart of gold, this is who I think about. I had an AIDS scare this year. Yeah, I did, and you're like, Pete, wow, what's going on in your life? Are you uh, sharing needles? Are you doing heroin? Are you having tons of... Unprotected sex? No, Kanye told me I had AIDS. <laughs> and, uh, and he's, uh, he's a genius, so I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> then you got David Koshner as Phil, the dad who's supposed to be the grounded straight man to Marmaduke shenanigans, but sure, then you got that YouTube guy as Guy. Y yeah, y he's in this movie. His voice is actually super annoying to listen to, and his character's a huge dick. After the fart incident, Guy says that Marmaduke will never be a champion. So, after getting a shitty pep talk from a cat that looks absolutely demonic... Marmaduke tries to convince Guy to give him another chance, so he literally goes all around the world, which earns him the respect of pretty much everyone. It literally makes the news and such, and yet despite all that, he still calls Marmaduke worthless, which is just so dumb. Why do we need a scene of people bitching at him to do the right thing when he should have just wanted to? Yeah, he changes his mind in literally a minute, but still, it's just more stupid padding in a movie that's already going on for way too long! Wait! What the fuck was that? Quick question. Why does this movie feel the need to have two dog championships? You couldn't just focus on the bigger one? Maybe actually use that extra time to focus on flushing out all these side characters so they become more than just racist stereotypes? Don't be so nervous. I don't bite. Okay. Unless you want me to. <laughs> Or maybe actually build on the bond between Marmaduke and his family, as opposed to just having them suddenly accept who he really is on the inside, despite wanting him to change throughout the entire film. I guess the lesson is that people shouldn't try to change who you are, despite the fact that you're a colossal fuck-up who literally ruins everyone's lives every chance he gets. Not to mention he's barely even with the family to begin with, save for the son, the daughter, the father, the thick mother. No, not even close. 
This is stupid. This movie has just absolutely rotted my brain inside out. But hey, what did you expect from the four directors who clearly didn't give a shit about this movie? They had two and a half extra years to make this, and this is what they came up with. If you don't get out of my way, I'm gonna have to unleash thunder, light, tornado, and pudding. Pudding's uh, not much of a fighter. Okay, well, everything about that is wrong. Fucking giant fart clouds that freeze time. This is the best they could do. I get it's fucking Marmaduke, but come on. Surely you can do better than this, right? If the fucking comic strip can last for nearly 70 years, then surely there's something there. There's gotta be. But this, this is just mindless. It's ugly, stupid, annoying. And the fact that we got this over Bone is just plain insulting. But hey, I guess it meets the criteria for what Netflix is looking for in terms of animation. No charm, no passion, no talent, just Marmaduke. This is what we should expect from now on from Netflix. No more Mitchells versus the Machines, no more Next Gens, no more Kid Cosmics, just more Marmaduke. <sighs> God help us all.